Before the Black Death, around the 1100s to 1300s, Europe maintained a feudalistic type of government during the High Middle Ages. They had a rigid social hierarchy with nobles and kings at the top and peasants at the bottom. Around this time period, specialized professions were on the rise and more and more people started to become artisans, blacksmiths, and merchants. Cities became densely populated and good hygiene was not practiced. During the same time period, China was occupied by the Mongols under the Yuan Dynasty. The Mongols were a barbaric tribe that originated from the northern steep of China. They accepted all religions and adopted a tribute system to gain wealth in return for protecting the Silk Road. As a result, the Silk Road prospered all across Eurasia, exchanging many goods such as silk, porcelain, religious beliefs, and eventually disease. The enormous interactions between humans led to the spread of the disease known as the Black Death or the Bubonic Plague. The disease came from infected fleas which were carried by rats. However, since medical technology was not advanced at that time, people were unaware of the source of the disease. They tried to find a variety of causes and cures. People believed that the disease was caused by superstitions such as the shifts in the positions of the planets. Others thought that God was punishing sinners, so people whipped themselves to wash their sins. Some even thought that poisonous air was being circulated. One of the many common cures that was thought to work was the use of leeches to suck bad blood away. When Jews were noticed to have less lives lost due to their good hygiene practices, Christians accused them of witchcraft and bad omens, which resulted in many being tortured and killed. Since so many people died, peasants became scarce in Europe and widespread famine increased. In China, the Mongols developed a new fighting technique. They launched infected bodies over enemy territories. This was one of the first instances of biological warfare. The spread of the Black Death also reduced trade along the Silk Road since people were scared of interacting with each other. Europe was hit the hardest from the bubonic plague. More than half of the population was wiped out, causing an increase in wages as workers were in high demand. This gave peasants the mobility and opportunities to prosper. More than 20,000 Jews were killed due to unrightful accusations. Eventually, the loss in population resulted the Byzantine Empire to be conquered by the Ottoman in 1453. People were quarantined and the unaffected people stayed inside. Personal hygiene improved and was strongly emphasized. Crementations were widely practiced instead of burials. In China, at least 60% of the population was affected as a result of the massive population drop and the poor governance. The Yuan Dynasty lost central power and developed regional warlords. Eventually, the Yuan Dynasty fell due to the internal conflict and was taken over by the Ming Dynasty in 1368. Unlike the Mongols, who encouraged trade and interactions with the outside world, China became isolated when the Ming Dynasty took over. The Ming Dynasty strictly banned all contact and trade outside of their empire. They also tried to get rid of all traces of Mongols. China began to go backward as the Ming Dynasty tried to create the old China by reviving Confucianism, civil exams, and old traditions.